what is it that fiction can do that all those other books do not? What compelled you to try again, well, to again write about the Holocaust in a, in a very particular way in this novel? <coughs> well, um, there are very respectable and distinguished people who say that you shouldn't write about the Holocaust. Um, George Steiner, Cynthia Ozick, and others. But that makes no, it's slightly self-righteous, I find, to say that. Um, and it also makes no philosophical sense and no literary critical sense. At what point does uh, a historical event become in, unvisitable by, you know, Arbeit macht frei, it says on the gates of Auschwitz, and also underneath, uh, poets and novelists not welcome. Um, I mean, it, um, it's the Holocaust and Nazi Germany is the worst thing that's happened yet. It's the terminal point of uh, human evil and, um, and it demolished the image of man for um, while it was taking place. But I, for, for instance, if in the Middle East the ISIS phenomenon uh, suddenly exploded and became what it has the potential to become, um, mass genocide in every direction, um, and say the numbers were as great. Um, at what stage, at what moment does it um, exclude itself? Does it become extraterritorial for writers? Um, makes no sense. But I do think that uh, there are s special responsibilities involved when you do write about it. Um, not qualitatively different from any act of writing because um, always you're battling with um, finding the right tone for the tone and words for events you're describing. But um, the, the tension is unusually sharp when you're writing about something as atrocious as this. The tone in the zone of interest is, it, it begins almost idyllically, romantically. Um, there's an element, it's a romance, you think, for a moment. That was, well, novels start not with a decision, as so many people think. Why did you decide to write? Um, that sounds to me like a description of writer's block, when you have to decide to write something. <laughs> Uh, it comes in the form of a throb or a shiver, um, a frisson, and you, you, you recognize the feeling and you know that here is, here is a bit of fiction offering itself to you to be written. You don't know that how long it's going to be. It could be just a very short, short story. But um, you accept that uh, donné and um, I could, I could never sort of disobey that feeling that I, if it's there for me to write, it is more as if it's chosen you rather than you've chosen it. 